Howdy, y'all. Well, I just picked up some dinner at my favorite spaghetti joint, Alfredo's. Hello. Can I, can I get a uh, spaghetti with meat sauce to go, please? You got anything else for you? Uh, that'll do it today. Right on. Total is 648 out of the point. Bread? Bread. Yep. What do you got? Thanks. Eh, heading back to the office. Well, the other day, I had a birthday. <laughs> yeah, another one. I got up on the morning of my birthday, did a little work, then I had to go meet a client. Uh, needs to update his fall catalog for 2013 with pictures and such, so took care of getting all the stuff I needed to do that. Made the mistake of not hydrating and not taking water with me, thinking it wouldn't be that long of a trip. And of course, uh, temperatures here in Texas every day, uh, 100 degrees plus. So coming back, I looked at my deal and I know the thermometer was wrong, <coughs> but it said 120. It was over 100, but it wasn't 120. <coughs> but anyways, I ended up getting a little dizzy just a little before I got back. So darn important, especially as you get older, or if you're really, really young, young kids, very important to, to hydrate. Uh, so I was also going to talk about, I um, watched a video by Mr. Polymers recently, I think it was yesterday. Uh, workout routine that he does. Uh, he's uh, he mentions that he's 55, so he's considerably younger than I am. And uh, yeah, staying fit certainly enhances your ability to ride motorcycles. Uh, it gives you some longevity when it comes to riding motorcycles. <laughs> What are you going to do? Anyways, as I said, gives you some longevity to ride motorcycles. And I know uh, all the years I spent doing certain physical things to stay toned. I might mention everything I did in my youth. In a future video. But anyways, it helped out a lot. Of course, right now I'm not talking about all that stuff. Uh, I, uh, even with uh, the great routine that Mr. Polymers went over, uh, by the time you reach my age, there are certain adjustments that need to be made. And I'll go ahead and put here what I thought of after watching the workout video. Here you go. As we get older, it gets a little tougher getting our leg over the bike. I've heard some grunts and groans from other motor vloggers on YouTube in their videos. You can do like I did, move on to a scooter, or you can get this very handy rope and pulley biker lift installed in your garage. Very easy and pain-free system for getting on and off your bike. The old biker navigation system is the best for us senior riders. With its built-in Bose sound system, hearing directions is guaranteed, even with the helmet on. And the 32-inch screen means you will never miss a turn again. 
There are many dental adhesives available for us old bikers, but after having tried them all, I highly recommend Fix-A-Dent with Scope. Lasts all day and keeps your breath smelling fresh. Especially handy for us old single bikers is the travel size. I keep one with me at all times. You never know when you might be spending the night somewhere other than at home. As some of you know, I love going on charity group rides, but over the last two years I had to solve a problem to be able to continue going on them. Ten minutes into the ride, I had to pee. Very embarrassing. Depend for Bikers has allowed me the freedom to go on group rides no matter how long they are. I have been such a loyal customer that they now send me the monogrammed version. Got to pee? No problem. Ah. Okay, so I think those are some uh, important little tips as for old biker dudes. Dudes, dudettes, whatever. Um, probably sort of a little touchy subject, not something I would normally talk about in public, but uh, you got to make adjustments with everything when you get older. Uh, I'm an old biker and, and I've always been very, very fortunate. Uh, young ladies have, have come my way, been pretty much attracted to me no matter what age I've been, even now. And uh, probably more because I ride a bike than me personally. <laughs> but. Uh, With that in mind, you have to make a couple little adjustments too. I mean, you know, you, you, you're with, with young ladies and different young ladies uh, act different way when you're intimate with them. Uh, some like to talk, some don't. But, but you know, for those that like to talk, I've had to make some adjustments. I mean, uh, for instance, um, you know, you used to talk a little bit, you know, uh, how do you like that? And and now you know, uh, just to be on the safe side, I have to say, uh, how did you like that? Because by the time you said, how do you like that, it could be over. <laughs> and certainly, I'm not going. I'm not saying, you know, who's your daddy anymore? It's it's uh, who's your granddaddy? <laughs> uh, uh, obviously, I'm just kidding, sort of. But anyways, that's my deal for the day. A few little tips for some old bikers out there. And I want to add one last thing. If you're one of those that paused the graphic that I put up with the candles so that you could count them, how rude. <laughs> Eh, have a good day. Bye-bye.